So you just apply for a job, you went to the interview, everything was great, but then you realize they sent you an email that says, sorry, we're gonna go with the next candidate. I'm sorry. What do you do next? Do you give up? No, and I'm gonna tell you why. So what do you do now? Do you just quit? Do you just give up and you say, oh my God, I didn't get that dream job. Let's say I'm not a good developer. It's not meant to be. I'm not going to get hired ever. No, there's other opportunities. There's going to be always another job that's going to call you back. You take this as a learning experience. You come in and you say, man, you know what? Maybe I could have went to sleep last night a little bit earlier. Maybe I could have just said, you know what? Maybe I'll eat a little bit of breakfast. Maybe I don't eat that much for breakfast. Sometimes, you know, you're in an interview and your stomach is rumbling. Okay, you're nervous. Learn from that. Okay. Hey, maybe last night you should have just studied. Go over the algorithms. Go over your projects. Make sure your projects show up. Make sure that when you put up your projects, you could actually click on the link and see a full website, right? Not just uh, you click on a link and then from there, oh shoot, there's an error. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, I made a mistake. Like no, it's a job interview. You want everything to be perfect, but you want to take this as a learning experience to prepare you for the next job. This is not the last job that you're gonna get. This is not the dream job. The dream job is a job that hires you and keeps you happy. You know, sometimes we, we put in these expectations to ourselves where we say, man, I want this amazing company. I want to work at Google. I want to work at Facebook. I want to work at this, this, and that. And then when they don't call you back or they don't even give you a second interview, you're like, man, I suck. I'm the worst developer. Oh my God, da da da. Like, no, take that stuff out of your mind. Take that stuff out of your mind. Throw it away. Be like, no. You know what? There's other opportunities. There's other companies out there. You know, sometimes there's even companies that will pay you remotely. You could be in your house in boxers, bras and panties, ma. You know what I mean? Like you could do whatever you want. Literally work from home. You know, so sometimes this idea that we have in our mind where we say, man, this was the dream job. And because I didn't get it, I'm just going to quit. You know, I felt the same way, man. I went to Twitter, I went to Tumblr, I got shut down by two companies, two major companies, man. And I was like heartbroken. I said, man, if Twitter and, and Tumblr is not hiring me, like, man, how is Facebook going to hire me? I mean, that was at one point I thought I was going to go work with Mark Zuckerberg when I first started learning how to call. I was like, man, it shouldn't be that hard. I should be working with Mark Zuckerberg in six months. You know what I mean? I should be getting coffee. I'll be like in the same room getting coffee with Mark Zuckerberg. By the way, make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and make sure you show some love in the comment section let me know have you ever felt like this man have you ever gone to a job interview and you didn't get it and then you feel like man i'm about to quit i was putting all my eggs into that basket and i didn't get it so now i'm about to quit have you ever felt like that let me know in the comment section so yeah like was i gonna be with mark zuckerberg i don't even know but i got shut down by twitter and tumblr so at that moment i felt like i wanted to quit i said man this sucks i'm never gonna get hired no way you know and i was about to literally go back to my bullshit it job right but then i said you know what let me start from the bottom let me see what other options are out there let me just build myself up let me build my skills up right sometimes it could be like somebody doesn't like you sometimes it could be oh you didn't have the right skills at that moment it wasn't nothing personal it wasn't like they don't care about you it wasn't like you're a horrible developer it wasn't like you didn't know anything you was an idiot a dummy nah let me let me slow down let me not go that hard now nah, it wasn't that it was more that you was pretty much not the right candidate at that time okay so what do you do you just gotta come back to the drawing board Continue learning your skills, you know, and even at that, there's other opportunities out there. Like if you went to a top level company, right, and you didn't get that job, hey, they asked me about the back end and I've been a front end guy and I never touched anything. Cool, it's time for you to start learning the back end. You get what I'm saying? Like this is just a learning experience. You have to come in with an open mind to all of this. You're never going to get every single job. It's just, that's how it is. It could be a guy that came in right after you that the guy who is hiring might just be freaking a best friends from high school. 
You thought you was gonna beat that guy? He knows him from high school. You're not gonna get that. You know what I mean? Like things happen like that, guys. You know? So it's like you can never give up. You can't give up just because you didn't get that dream job. Look on Quora, right? There's guys in there that have put in like you know questions like oh man I applied to Google and I didn't get hired you know will I be able to ever get hired by Google there was a guy that applied for six years straight to Google on the sixth year he got the job at Google that's dedication if you really want that job build your skills build your experience get yourself up to that level and then from there you know sky's the limit you can do whatever you want okay guys so it is what it is. Don't give up just because you didn't get that dream job. Just keep working hard and just continue to code, man. You're gonna be fine, okay? Don't give up because you did not get the job. Do not feel down, do not feel upset. This is motivation. This is how you come back and you be like, you know what, at some point, another recruiter is gonna hit me up and is gonna tell me hey do you want to go work at google and this time i'll be like nah all right guys so i hope you guys enjoy this type of content make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and let me know what it is okay go to my website codingface.com under the description below you get 50 percent off automatically on everything on the website 50 percent off over 30 courses you could buy a course on your own or you can say hey joe i'm gonna sign up for the membership ten dollars that's it you get over 30 courses learn how to code trust me life gets better peace